I'm Dr. Laura Shaheen. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we're going to talk about marijuana and men's reproductive health. I'm Dr. Laura Shaheen. I've been helping people build families for over 15 years and answering really common questions like what can I do to improve my sperm quality, my egg quality, and a lot of questions come up about marijuana. So let's get started. First of all, this is a really common question. It comes from a lot of my patients and it came from you. So thank you for putting questions in the comments here on these videos because it lets me know what you want to learn about. Like this video if you find it helpful. Subscribe to this channel and continue those comments because I love teaching you what you want to learn about. Marijuana is one of the most common recreationally used drugs in the United States. At least one in five people have tried marijuana once in their life and many people use it on a regular basis, sometimes even daily. Um, at least 18 states have legalized it for recreational use and many, many more states have legalized it for medical use. It's used to treat common conditions like nausea, anxiety, sleep disturbances. And for some people, it's a recreational way to relax. There's so many misconceptions when it comes to marijuana, and I really want to help you understand how it can impact your reproductive health. What exactly are we talking about? We're talking about cannabis, which is a plant with multiple chemicals or cannabinoids, as they're called. The two most common ones that you've probably heard of is THC and CBD. THC, which is Delta 9 tetrahydrocannabinol, or CBD, which is cannabidiol. The THC is the cannabinoid that gives you the high feeling of marijuana makes you feel lightheaded and sort of euphoric. And the CBD is a different cannabinoid that you've seen marketed in the drugstore and um, is legal kind of everywhere. And it doesn't, it is a cannabinoid, um, but it doesn't give you that euphoric feeling, that THC feeling. When I'm presenting data here on marijuana impacting reproductive health in men, um, I can't differentiate between those two different cannabinoids and the information and the data here is really involving both. I just want to clarify that because when I say marijuana, I'm talking about the marijuana that you could smoke, you could eat, and it typically gives you that euphoric feeling. And so it's going to include both the THC and the CBD. The assumption is that marijuana is safe. If you have something that is legal, especially medically in the majority of the states, you have doctors that can prescribe it for medical conditions like nausea, for, from chemotherapy, then it's really common for people to assume that this is a safe substance. But marijuana has actually been associated with a lot of poor health conditions. It's been associated with increased risk of stroke, heart disease, bronchitis, even schizophrenia. And men who report weekly use of marijuana have a two times increased risk of testicular tumors. So cannabis has been associated with poor health, but it's also been associated with poor reproductive health and there are lots of studies showing that it impacts sperm quantity health function and i want to review that evidence with you i've had a lot of patients that are pretty resistant to hearing this information and really quite disappointed because it's something that they felt was natural they felt that it was from a plant they felt that a lot of their friends were doing it and they really just don't want to hear that it could be impacting their chances of getting pregnant. So let's review the evidence. Here's a study that shows the impact of marijuana on total sperm counts. This is a study talking about the association between marijuana and male reproductive hormones, as well as semen quality. It was looking at over 1,200 Danish men age 18 to 28. They were applying for military service and they were doing testing and answering a questionnaire. The testing included a semen analysis as well as blood tests. And the questionnaire asked a lot of different questions, um, including marijuana use within the last three months. And men who responded that they had used marijuana at least once a week for the past three months had a 30% lower sperm concentration or sperm count. What about morphology? Morphology is the shape of the sperm and a higher percentage of more normal shaped sperm is usually associated with a higher fertility rate. This is an excellent study coming out of the United Kingdom, looking at over 1700 men and 14 different fertility clinics, looking at their sperm parameters and answering questions about marijuana use and other lifestyle factors. And 
and men who regularly used marijuana had a two times increased risk of poor sperm morphology on their semen analysis. So what about motility? So a higher percentage of moving sperm is associated with a higher chance of fertility because that sperm has to swim in order to find the egg to cause fertilization. And many different studies have shown in many different ways that higher use, more exposure to marijuana is associated with a lower percentage of modal sperm on a semen analysis. And a really interesting study that was done at a basic science level looked at sperm parameters from 78 men and exposed the sperm to THC in the lab. And they showed a dose dependent reaction in that the higher concentration of THC that was exposed to the sperm, the lower and lower the motility became. They showed on a cellular level that this decreased motility is due in part due to the ability of the cannabinoids to decrease the function of mitochondria within sperm. Mitochondria are the energy packed parts of all cells and they are required to work very well to help sperm, sperm swim where they need to go. And these cannabinoids are decreasing the function of the mitochondria within the sperm cell. And that is one way that motility is decreased. So there's lots of different ways to show the impact of marijuana function on male reproductive health. Most of the studies are looking at semen analysis or sperm parameters from men who are using marijuana compared to men who are not. And that's a human way of showing sort of the poor reproductive health that can be associated with uh, consistent and chronic marijuana use. These scientific studies are actually trying to answer the why are fascinating to me. So another one that looked at this really showed that the sperm, especially the head and the mid piece, have cannabinoid receptors on them. And when these are activated, it dramatically slows the function of the ability of the sperm to swim and move. And it also decreases the acrosome reaction. So the acrosome reaction is how the sperm fertilizes with an egg. They attach and then it's a reaction at the tip of the head of the sperm that releases enzymes that allows the sperm to get through the zona pellucida, the outside shell of the egg, and allows the sperm to get inside to fertilize. And so not only are you seeing poor sperm counts, slower non-modal sperm and poor morphology, but you can show on a cellular level that if the sperm acrosome reaction is defective, then you are not gonna be able to fertilize the egg as well. It's just fascinating not only to show parameters that you could test maybe in humans, but on a scientific level, exactly what's happening. A lot of my patients ask like, okay, yes, I'm using marijuana. I know it might make my sperm parameters look bad when we do a semen analysis, but I can still get pregnant, right? Especially if we do fertility treatment. There's not a ton of studies on this, but there is one study looking at IVF outcomes in marijuana users. And when the male partner is using marijuana, there's lower fertilization rate and lower success rate with IVF. And another study actually showed that male marijuana use can increase the risk of miscarriage with patients. So this is an interesting prospective study of over 1500 couples that we're planning to try to conceive and looking at lifestyle factors in the preconception period. And if the male partner was smoking marijuana on a regular basis, there was a two times, almost two and a half times more likelihood of a first trimester miscarriage for that couple when they did actually conceive. If this video disappoints you, I'm sorry. I know it can be really frustrating if you're under the assumption that marijuana is safe and it's natural and it's used in medical settings, therefore it's gotta be okay for reproductive health. The studies really don't support that. The studies show lower sperm counts, lower sperm morphology, lower motility, poor outcomes with IVF and even an increased risk of miscarriage if the male partner is regularly using marijuana. So I hope this video was helpful, even if it was disappointing. This is something that you can do to improve your overall reproductive health and I think help you get to your goal and have your family sooner. So think about it learn about it. Like this video if you learned something, comment with questions that you have, subscribe to this channel and stick around for more learning.